时候。Go to the toilet. Uh, let's go. Oh, you don't need to accompany me. It's fine. I'll go with you. No, I'm fine. We don't do the going to the toilet hand in hand thing anymore. Besides, you're busy, right? I know I'm not busy. Li Jian Jian, room five, please. So, I'm coming. <laughs> you want to escape? Please let me go. Not let this me go. Time. Time. <laughs> please. No. I'm not you going. Just I go, don't you want to go. Baby. <laughs> Have mercy! Don't do this to me! Just... Go! Thank you, Doctor! Please lie down. Open your mouth. Mm, actually, it doesn't hurt that much. Open it. Mm. Uh, 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 it hurts! You have two decayed teeth. The dental nerve is exposed in the bigger cavity. It's inflamed because of food impaction. I'll treat inflammation first, do root canal treatment once it's diminished. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Just relax. Look at the light above you. Does it look like the rabbit hole? Going through the hole with a bright light, Alice went to Wonderland. Avoid eating too hot or spicy food later. Eat less sweet food and brush your teeth properly. I got you a mouthwash. Come back when the inflammation disappears. Thank you, doctor. <gasps> Li Jen Jen. Yes. You are, you are my everything. You can't.
and recognize me for my voice. I can handle this myself. Uh, thank you. You're still scared of seeing a dentist, though you're a grown-up. I'm right here. Hmm? I won't leave you. Ming Yu, I should have told me that. You're my dentist, so I could have been more relaxed. I asked her to keep it from you. I never thought you wouldn't recognize me. Have I changed that much? Not at all. I'm just too nervous earlier. I never thought you'd be my dentist. <laughs> Ling Xiao, you look great in your doctor's outfit. Thanks for the compliment. You're getting prettier too. <laughs> Don't joke around with me. I was thought to be a kid all the time. They want to check my ID every time I go to a pub. You're always the prettiest in my eyes. Thanks for the compliment. I'm flattered. Oh, right! You're back now, so your dad must be very happy. He is. Did you tell my dad that Zid chose back? I didn't. He said he's planning some surprise. Oh. I really don't know what he's up to. He always thinks too much. <laughs> Ling Xiao, go ahead. Don't let me interfere with your work. I just got here. I have no appointments, so no problem. <sighs> oh no. It's late. I gotta go back to the studio. Uh, it's almost noon. Why don't we have lunch together? No thanks, I don't feel well, I don't feel like eating. Contact me on WeChat, send me a message! <laughs> I come to see you in person. Isn't it touching? You don't have to visit me. What are you doing here? I'm here just to check on your working environment. How is it? You can smile. It's a good environment. This place is really a high-end private dental hospital. It even released their own brand of electric toothbrush. You must earn a lot working here, right? It's fine. Isn't income a private matter abroad? It is. But we are brothers. Oh, right. Jin Jin messaged you again after you came home yesterday? Why are you not anxious at all? Jin Jin didn't have any reaction after seeing us come back. How should she react? Did you take her to the internet bar? The point is she doesn't look happy. Hey. Huh? What surprise are you preparing? Why don't you go home? Let's talk about it later. You will know it then. You dare not go back, right? Are you kidding me? Why would I not go back? I'm just busy with my business. Your father gave you money? Cho Wa Guang is not my father. Li Hai Chao is. As soon as you got everything you need from Chao Wa Guang, you drop him just like that. <sighs> anyway, Cho Wa Guang can control me now. I can do anything I want. I'm not going to leave this time. I'll stay and be filial with my dad and take care of Jin Zhan. How will you do that? Like I did it before. It's already been nine years. She's not a little kid anymore. Everything has changed. I'm still her brother. We are not her real brothers. I'm her neighbor, and you're fostered. Nothing changed the first two years. But later on, we barely talked. Except for giving festival greetings. We got nothing to talk about. Except for saying, take care and eat well repeatedly. We couldn't meet. We couldn't help each other.
Let's work as a team. A team for what? Don't play dumb with me. Jinjin listened to you for everything since childhood. You must have a plan in your head about how to get her back under your control. I have no plans in my head. Can you act more maturely? Adjust your attitude first. Relationships need time in order to nurture it. Based on what you said, you certainly have a plan prepared. All right. I gotta work now. You won't team up with me? Suit yourself. But I'm telling you, I've already got a great plan prepared in hand. Don't you cry and beg me by then. Go back early. Dad Lee misses you. Be See you. safe. Hello? So soon? Okay, I'll be there soon. Hello, ma'am. This is Miss Chi who contacted you for cleaning at 11.30 in the morning. Yeah, the one for deep cleaning of a new residence. Are you there? Okay, I'll wait for you there. Thank you, ma'am. The door is open. Hmm? Has he moved in? So strange. What are you doing? How did you get in? Through the door, of course. I have the password. I was just about to ask you the same question. I have the password, too. This is my place. How could that be possible? I'm the one who rented this place. All the pillows uh, and the flowers, the slippers and the wallpaper. I was the one who bought them all. Are you mistaken? The rent there is 3,000 yuan a month. It was booked by someone else. Now you want me to get it for you? You spent 4000 for a two-bedroom flat? You could have moved somewhere downtown. It's worth it if I can be Jan Jan's neighbor. You have too much money to burn. Oh, by the way, the landlord told me that if the previous tenant comes, tell him you're his relative that came back for work so that the flat is not for rent anymore. You hear me? Okay, got it. You're annoying. Oh! That's right. I'm a relative of the landlord. I just came back here to work, so he'll let me rent this place. A relative? I'm his nephew. Didn't he tell you? Would you like to call him? Hello, Mr. Landlord. Hello, this Miss is... Chi, right? Good timing. I was just about to call you. I'm sorry I can't rent you the apartment. I got a relative who suddenly came back here to work. I can't let him live outside since I got this flat anyway. Please give me your bank account. I'll just transfer the deposit back to you. How can you do this? We had a deal. We already had an agreement. I'm really sorry about this, Miss Chi. I'm in a meeting right now. I'm hanging up. Wait, I... <sighs> Has she left already? Not yet! Oh. Hey! I already told you clearly! What are you still doing here? Uh, um, well... Can we talk about it? I've wanted to rent this for a long time. It's really important to me that I get this apartment. Can you just move out? I know this place well. I can help you rent a better one. Why do you have to live here? This apartment is also important to me. It's very close to the subway. Let me tell you the truth. A guy I have a crush on asked me to find him an apartment. He gave me such an important task. I must finish this task he gave me, and he'll be moving in later tonight. If I mess this favor, he asked me, how can I face him then? My love will come to an end even before it starts. You understand, right? It has nothing to do with me. Come on, dude. I'm 25 years old, and I've never dated anyone even once. My mom even forced me on a blind date. I thought about it. As long as he lives here, I'll cook for him every day. Come out. I'll tell hey, you all about this. Hey, calm down. Listen, I'm not wearing anything right now. And I'm going out. I'll go out if you do it again. Okay, then? I'm going out.
fun. I found the cafe you told me about. It seems to be a newly opened cafe. It's located just around our high school. It's only so you're working the exhibition hall. I hope you have a nice time. Okay. Okay then. Bye bye. Say to me nicely, why did you scare me? I don't want to scare you. I'm here to prepare you a surprise. Ta -ta -ta -ta. What kind of surprise is this? The lightning and thunder are just raging. Well, outside. I didn't expect that it will rain today. I thought as soon as you come in, you'll see this and this and this. You like it, don't you? Right? Don't you think that all of this looks like a scene right out of a horror movie? Uh, no, it's not. I think. I think that it's very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you lying to me? You booked the entire shop for this? I didn't lie to you. I want to buy your wood carving to be the guardian of my shop. I just opened this shop. Me. I'm the owner. I didn't contact you when I came back three months ago because I was preparing for the opening. What I wanted was to call you and dad before the opening of this cafe. I'll tell you that there are free coffee and cake coupons here. And when you arrive here then, you'll know that I own this cafe. When you find out, you'll be surprised, right? That's a good idea. Isn't it? <laughs> but my dad is very busy. He'll definitely not come here. But you will definitely come, just for the free cake Usually, coupons. as long as I hear free cake coupons, I would immediately hang up the phone. Oh. Uh, you would? Yeah. There are so many sales calls these days. I'm not that stupid to fall for one of those traps. But, Jin Jin, I remember. You always wanted to have your own dessert shop when you were little, didn't you? So you can have as much as cakes and milk tea as you want. Here, come on. Have a taste. I made this cake. Here. I went to the dentist today. I can't eat that. But I made it specially for you. Have a taste. Come on. No, thanks. It's Just fine. one bite. One bite. Just taste it. Is it good? One more bite then. Here, come mm, on. I don't feel well. I'm really sick. Just one more sick. bite. Here, I eat really this. I really can't eat it anymore. I don't feel well. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I should apologize. You've prepared so many cakes, but I really don't feel well right now. Oh, right. Huh? Where are you going to put that wood carving? Uh, I'll put it in the front desk. It's the most conspicuous place. How about this? Forget that wood carving. I'll pick a good material for you. I'll carve you a three-legged golden cicada. It implies booming business. You will make it for me? Yeah. You prepared cakes for me, right? Stopped. I'll go back to the Stay studio. Stay a while longer. 
I can't. I'm busy right now. I'll see now. you out then. No need. It's all right. Go back to work. I'm heading out. I'll be careful on the road. Yes, I will. Why isn't he answering the phone? He really is so shameless. Who is so shameless? The landlord. Our landlord is a nice person. I'm not talking about ours. Then whose landlord is it? Did you really meet your boyfriend's parents by dressing like that today? Yes. He asked me to. How is it? Do I look great? <laughs> Tang Tan, there's something I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Today I took Jan Jan to her appointment to the dentist. Mm -hmm. And the dentist who attended her is Ling Xiao. <laughs> Ling Xiao? Mm. That straight A student who studied in Singapore? Uh huh. You've always been in touch with him? <laughs> He just came back today and works in a dental hospital now. Why didn't Jian Jian go there by herself? Why should you take her? If she knew it was her brother, do you think she'd go? Ah, uh, even if she wouldn't go, it still shouldn't be any of your business. Ungrateful. Both are ungrateful. And the one who went to the UK is a total bastard as well. He left and betrayed them. You don't even know what happened. Why are you being mad right now? Their family situation is different. It's not like what you think. You don't have to speak up to their defense, am I right? We should beat them whenever we see those ingrates! They're just indifferent. They really didn't do anything wicked. Tell me now, where is Ling Xiao working right now? I'll hire some amateur actors online to stop him at the hospital entrance, to confess their love one by one. Confess their love? I want to piss him off. Uh, stop being angry with him. You said that you'll beat him every time you see him, right? He's coming to our apartment soon. How about you change your clothes? Because it's inconvenient to beat him wearing that. How dare he come to our apartment? Would you get changed? <sighs> I won't change clothes. I'm in my apartment. I can wear whatever I want. I'm already polite enough to wear something. I'll just ignore him or cut him dead when he's here. Okay. You're really so great. Ling Xiao, Hi. come in. Jian Jin hasn't come back yet, but Tang Tan is here. Slippers. Okay. Thank you. Close the door for me, will you? <laughs> Sorry. Let me introduce you. This is Tang Tan. We weren't close by the time you graduated from school, so you don't know her. This is Ling Xiao. Hello, Tang San. Uh, hello. I've heard a lot about you. Go make some tea. Use the best black tea. <laughs> I'll sort the things I brought. Let me help you. Oh, right. You said that the flat in front isn't available anymore? One of the landlord's relatives moved in, so he let him stay there. And he doesn't want it to be rented anymore. The apartment in front of ours? Isn't it my hero who rented it? We already had a deal. The hot pot last night was supposed to be your treat. Why did you hide in the bathroom when it's time to pay? Who hid it in the bathroom? Hey, you know I have gastrointestinal problems, don't you? Okay then, this one will be my treat. Don't try to pay, okay? Order what you want. Now I know why you rich people get to keep all the wealth that you have. Because you're penny pinching. This is your celebration feast? What should I celebrate? I made a huge table of desserts just for Jan Jan, and she only took one bite. Let's stop talking about it. Come on, have some seafood first, before the entree. Seafood? Isn't this seafood? It lives in the sea as well. What is it? Your sister doesn't lack money now. Seriously, if she's not, what can we do then? I really have no idea what she likes now. 
You said Ling Xiao is back. How is he with Jian Jian? <laughs> What's the use of Ling Xiao coming back? Zhen Zhen has been closest to me since we were little. If she got nothing to say to me, how could she get anything to say with a neighbor? Did you tell her you live across from her? I have no time to tell her. You should have called her earlier. Why are you surprising her? Your dad could have given you some advice. Look at how much trouble you're in. What do you know about it? It's exhausting to run a shop. If I tell my dad, he would not let me do the decoration and the formalities on my own. I don't want him to be tired. Besides, I haven't achieved anything for these years. I don't know how to face him. It smells great. Mm. I'm back. You're back. I met Ling Xiao earlier today. Uh, I know. What? what you don't know about is that I saw Zicha too. What? Truth is, I've already seen both Ling Xiao and Zicha yesterday. You saw them yesterday? The pervert who grabbed my breasts. It was actually Zicha. Pervert? pervert? <sighs> this is really so dramatic. After studying abroad for many years, he's become a pervert? Of course not. It's a misunderstanding. <sighs> Ling Xiao went to the police station when he learned about that, so the three of us met each other unexpectedly. I thought it would be fine to see them occasionally, but I met both of them again today, and he said he's moving to the opposite apartment. <laughs> well, that's good news, isn't it, Jen Jen? What good news is that? It's so awkward. This is just so <laughs> embarrassingly awkward. <laughs> We don't even know what to talk about when sitting together. That's true. I agree with you, Jian Jian. Hey, stop that nonsense, Tang San. You're close to each other. You call each other often, right? We don't call that often. We just texted occasionally. All we said to each other was, how are you? How do you do? Take care of yourself. They were all nothing but small talks. There were nothing serious about it. It's not something you would talk about when you sit together. When I meet my classmates in junior high, all they talk about is their children. I can't even get a word in. That's because you're not living together. But he's back now, which is a lot better than him being away, right? But he... Let's put it this way. You got two cans of peaches, but you find them expired when you see the date. Anyway, you still want to eat it. It's still edible, but you just don't feel well after eating it. In the first place, you shouldn't be eating any expired food, okay? <sighs> My head hurts so bad! Don't kick me, it hurts! Ugh. There's a gingival inflammation cycle. Rinse your mouth. Take anti-inflammatories. Xiao, when are you going to move in your apartment? The landlord's relative rented the apartment I booked. A handsome man moved in the opposite flat. Do you know him? No, I don't. We are not as lucky as Mingyue here. She's already seen the new tenant naked. That's not true. I haven't. Don't talk nonsense. You're the one who told me about it. Seeing the protagonist naked fresh out of the shower <laughs> is the most classic scene in all the romantic movies. Uh, no, I no, just no. I met him in the elevator. It's incomparable to hers. Uh, no, no, no. I just wanted him to move out of the apartment. Get him to move out for what? He's a relative of the landlord. There must be flats you can rent in this community. Not as suitable as this one. Besides, it's more convenient to live next door. According to Mingyue, that nephew must be living alone, but it's a flat with two rooms. He might not be able to afford the rent if he's just started to work. You want to share it with him? Yeah. Okay, I'll go talk to him. I'll go. I can't give you another chance to meet each other. I'll put some makeup. Makeup this late at night? I'll honey trap him.
Hi, neighbor. Hello. Tansan? I never thought that I'd be so lucky to have you as my new neighbor. <laughs> oh no, how did you know it? Last time, when we met at the elevator, you looked very familiar to me. I was still careless. You look like the man who will be my next boyfriend. Why are you attacking me? How come it's you? The apartment was rented out, so I asked a friend of mine to talk to the landlord to raise the rent. His rent is 3000 I pay 4000 If someone makes trouble, I'll tell him I'm his relative who just came back for work. The result is you fooled by me. <laughs> so good to be rich, huh? <sighs> I just want to move closer to Jin Jin so I can take care of her. I was the one who rented that apartment. It was you? That girl this morning? Goodness, it wasn't me. Ho ho ho! So the boy you mentioned. Shut up! <laughs> you dare pretend to be the landlord's relative! How mean of you! Unbelievable! What you did was outrageous! Excuse me? Why do you always let yourself in? Because I know the password. Tch. It's just... I came here to apologize for what I did to you. I'm sorry. Oh. And I also want to make it clear to you. Don't tell anything to Ling Xiao about what I said to you earlier today. Why is that? If you like him, you should go ahead and tell him. It's not... It's not the time to tell him. Anyway, you can't tell him, okay? If you tell him what I told you earlier, I'll... I'll tell them you have a physical defect. You're going to start a rumor about me? It's only the two of us in this room. I can say anything I want. Well, I remember you were not like this in high school. What? Ling Xiao. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, of course. He's here. Watch your words. Yeah. Come in. Not bad. It's my home now. Let's share the rent. If you beg me to share with you, I can think about it. I beg you. Okay. I'll move in in a few days. I'll help you with your luggage. It's okay, I don't have much. Hey, wait. We gotta get back the rent, don't we? Of course. I can't let you be someone else's nephew for nothing. He's gotta give back the extra rent he charged us. I'm not his nephew. What time is it? Go back home. I'm not sleepy. I'll stay here with you. Just admit it, you're waiting for your son. Don't use me as an excuse. Why would I wait for him? <laughs> now that he's back here, I can see him whenever I want. If you really want to see him, why don't you ask him to live with you, huh? It's good to have him at home. You can see him every day. <sighs> I want him to live outside. I've gotten used to living alone all these years. Suddenly, he comes back here and in my life, walking in front of me. It would be annoying. It would really bother me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bothers you? Look how happy you are just by simply talking about it. <laughs> Lift your feet. <laughs> oh, you know, I think it will be really great if Ling Xiao and Jian Jian get married in the future. They're well matched. 
It's the 21st century. No parents arrange marriages nowadays. It's not nowadays. an arranged marriage. It's called keeping the goodies within the family. Hey, I can tell that Ling Xiao really likes Chen Chen. <laughs> uh, do you want to be a matchmaker now, huh? You're just like Mrs. Chen. How about I stick a mole on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Dad Li. Oh, you're back. Dad, why are you here? You gotta work tomorrow morning, don't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to go up. But your dad, Lee, insisted that I stay here to chat with him. That's right. I'm so lonely down here that I asked you to stay with me. <laughs> Wait, why are you standing there? Go home already. Go to sleep. Go on now. Go rest. Let me help you clean up first. Oh, no, 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 no. no! I just cleaned that spot. Don't step on the floor. Just go home yeah, already, okay? Yeah, don't stand okay? there. You will be a hindrance to him. Go back, then take a hot bath, okay? I'll be home soon. <laughs> okay, then. See you upstairs. <laughs> Why did you call him a hindrance? Well, I didn't really mean that. You have a low EQ. Who has low EQ, huh? You're the one who has low EQ. Jump when you go out later. Don't get it dirty <laughs> Is again. Is that really all you got for me, huh? <laughs> Good morning, Jin Jin. What would you like for breakfast? I'll go buy it for you. No, it sounds too excited. Morning, Jen Jen. What would you like to eat? I got nothing here. What do you want to eat today? What would you like to eat? What would you like for breakfast? What would you like to have? What would you... for death with naught but compassion and peace. Favorite girls, it's already one o'clock in the morning. You're already ugly as it is. Go to sleep. <sighs> Should I just watch it slip like this and regret it in the end? You're thinking too much. Maybe he's a married man for years and even got children to raise. The one who should appear didn't appear, but the ones who shouldn't appear showed up in pair. Who do you mean shouldn't appear? Don't be too harsh on them. They finally came back to reunite. Reunite my foot. Siblings are all bound to part from each other after growing up, especially when they finally get married. They will form their own families which will make them relatives to each other. So tell me, is it really necessary to live so close to each other? Yes, it is. There are many siblings out there who are close to each other. They live near each other to help each other. Give me an example of siblings deeply attached to each other and helping each other even after they get married. <laughs> deeply attached? Watch your words. Give me an example. Mm. You can't, can you? Just because I can't doesn't mean there isn't one. There aren't many cases similar to Jen Jen's family, but there still are. You're just being too assertive. It doesn't matter if I'm assertive or not. What matters is how does she really think? 
She didn't even say a word, but she just kept on talking. Do you want me to be the peacemaker here? Lee Jin Jin? Hmm? Do you think that I'm interfering with your business too much? I don't. There you go, you heard her. But I also think what Tong Sun said is right. You heard her? You heard her? Don't waver so easily. What's on your mind? Oh my god. It's true that we used to be very close to each other. But that's because we were young and we stayed together all the time. And then afterwards... When I was still in school, I always wished that... They can come back even just once to celebrate the holidays. Well, neither of them came back once. Then gradually... I forgot them. But now they're back all of a sudden. It makes me so... I feel... Very uncomfortable and awkward. I feel like... They are strangers to me. It's not the same as it used to be. Such a. 